the National Society for Black Engineers and the Society for Hispanic Engineers have teamed up for the fourth annual Hackathon, giving yet another opportunity for those of all backgrounds a chance to build something for their community. Here now to tell us more, we welcome now the president of Lehman's chapter of the National Society of Black Engineers, Rosemarie and Carnacion, and we thank you so much for coming and sharing with us. Thank you for having me. Good to have you here, Rosemary. And so as we talk about a hackathon, mm -hmm. uh, I think it comes with a certain connotation, but yeah. so let's clear it up for sure. people who don't know what a hackathon is. What exactly is a hackathon? Of course. So uh, there's actually no hacking involved. No in hacking. Hack no, not no at all. <laughs> We're not hacking into anything. Uh, think of a hackathon as sort of a marathon. Uh, everybody moving towards the same or similar goal uh, for a certain uninterrupted period of time. And that's uh, pretty much exactly what we're doing at our hackathon. It's uh, 18 hours where students will be building, designing, producing content and hardware, software applications, mobile applications towards a specific challenge that meets our theme this year, which is diversity and inclusion. Awesome. So for people who want to come and pay, take part in this, is going to be right here at Lehman College. This is, yes. And so for people coming out to Lehman College, you're going to have an opportunity to do this here. And so give us a little bit about the theme. Yes, of course. So our theme this year is diversity and inclusion. And I know that's a hot topic, especially in the tech space now. Uh, but for us, it's very personal uh, because Lehman College itself is over 70% black and Latino. And mm -hmm. the surrounding community it serves very much reflects that as well as the other members of the community which are disabled, women and children, uh, in general marginalized voices. And we felt it was important for us to highlight and encourage and promote the talent that's already here in the Bronx through Lehman College and also encourage them to create and build things for uh, inclusivity to make sure that those marginalized voices are included in any kind of conversation. And so these voices that we are talking about here, taking part in this hackathon and being a part of this hackathon, for you as an engineer, what does this mean for you? For me, it's an exciting opportunity for uh, anybody who's participating to put their skills to the test, to learn, uh, to get past their own limits. I know when I've been involved in hackathons, I've learned way more than I came in with. Mm -hmm. And also to see what comes out of it, because ultimately uh, the projects that come out of here are going to be geared towards solving problems in the community that are around diversity and inclusion. And it'll be really interesting and I'm excited to see the results at the end of the hackathon for what students represent. So for me, it's um, a very good selfish opportunity for me mm -hmm. to see what students can build and also for the community in general to see what they can build and especially at uh, Lehman College and in the Bronx. And it sounds like a great opportunity for some camaraderie. Yes. So most of the students who are uh, attending the hackathon have one never been to the hackathon, mm -hmm. to a hackathon in general, and probably don't know each other. And that's usually the case. You're going there solo. You've probably don't have a team, never met anybody before. So it's a way for students to meet each other and connect with each other across CUNY and also for them to meet recruiters because we will be having, uh, we have 11 sponsors this year. Uh, we have our title sponsor, which is MasterCard, who we're very thankful for them for mm -hmm. supporting us, as well as other sponsors, including Viacom, BuzzFeed, JP Morgan, who uh, is now in their third year sponsoring us, as well as Goldman Sachs and a few other sponsors. And so for engineers, obviously, uh, you guys coming together, kicking it around, talking uh, and, and, and sharing. What are some of those community problems that you talk about addressing? What do you, what do you find yourselves really trying to look at and, and, and deal with? So I don't, I don't want to give away the challenge questions, okay, okay. but I will talk um, in general about what we're looking to see and target. Mm -hmm. And diversity, you may think of it as just basically gender or race, but it's more than that. It's people, so people with disabilities, uh, people that come from low income communities, uh, like our community, um, and also women, children, there are many different types of diverse voices, and the kind of issues that we're tackling are things in the technology. So diversity and inclusion in technology to make sure that people who don't have access to digital tools or digital literacy uh, can participate in technology, um, education as well, finance, and um, social and community impact, which has to deal with stu uh, people with disabilities and making sure that we build inclusively for them to be involved in the digital world. So if people want to take part in this, how do they go about it? 
Well, right now, registration is closed, mm -hmm. but if you'd like to see the presentations or if you want to participate or support in any other way, they can email us at ns.lehman at lc.cuny.edu or they can go to our website. So for the hackathon, is it the biggest event that you have during the course of the year? Or? Yes, it definitely is. Uh, planning starts at the very beginning of the year in January. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is our marquee event for the chapters and to some extent also for Lehman College. And what else do you have going on throughout the course of the year? Oh boy, there's a lot. Oh. <laughs> um, this year we've had sponsor workshops with companies like Yelp, Capital One, um, as well as JP Morgan. And throughout the year we do company trips we do tech talks, we do skill building workshops on certain technical topics, as also rather as well as uh, topics on learning how to communicate, how to pitch to uh, recruiters in general, making sure that the students involved in the organization are well prepared to go into industry or to just be involved in the tech community in general. Mm -hmm. So if people want to take more information, you can go to nshacks.nlehman dot com and you can find out more information right there it's coming up at the bottom of your screen uh there you can see more about the hackathon uh you got the flyer there and some prizes yes we do uh, so for the top three teams we have three thousand dollars in prizes that we are um, giving as well as our sponsors who are also bringing prizes um jp morgan has a challenge for their social good hack and capital one also has a challenge for their best financial hack so there are a lot of opportunities to win for the students, uh, as well as they're going to be fed <laughs> throughout mm -hmm. the entire time. Um, and they will be recruiting at the hackathon as well, which is very, very great because it gives students an opportunity not only to show what they have, but directly connect with recruiters so they can hopefully land an internship or a job from this. Well, we want people to come on out and take part and hear what's going on. You said registration is closed, but actually to see the participation. So yeah, thank you so much for coming and sharing thank with us. Thank you for having me. All righty, all righty, all right. Well, listen, before we go, I want to tell you that uh, this is our Talk About Savor of the Bronx Restaurant Week. We want to profile a very special restaurant that has some very special cuisine, and we're going to take a look at that restaurant right now. <music> I think what makes Havana Cafe special or different is just our overall environment. It's not just a restaurant. 80% of our guests are return customers, which is wonderful for us. It's become a neighborhood, a neighborhood gem. This is a restaurant that serves uh, predominantly Cuban dishes. We have a really well-rounded menu. We have vegetarian, we have vegan options. We also have great sandwiches. Regardless of what you're looking for, we have traditional Latin food, we have traditional Cuban food, but we also have lighter fare. We have a very well-rounded menu, and there's something for everybody. So we have mojitos. Uh, we, we, you know, our bartenders are first class. Our mojitos are hand muddled, every single one. What people should expect when they come here is that they encounter a family-friendly environment. I think most of all what I want people to experience and walk away with is a feeling that they walked in somewhere where they were made to feel like they were at home. The overall ambiance, the overall feel of family and community and, and, and comfort and friendliness that they encounter when they come here, it's genuine. And I think people, they, they sense that. To me, Latin cuisine is really an emotion. It has a lot to do um, obviously with good ingredients, but it's about the passion that you put into the food that you do. And that's what we want people to feel when they come here. And definitely some great food at the Havana Cafe. Make sure you check them out over there on East Tremont. As part of Savor the Bronx Restaurant Weekend, I want to let you know Restaurant Week goes until the 16th of the month. Now, if you want more information of the participating restaurants, there are a bunch of participating restaurants that you can go and get your palate fed. Listen, you go to ilovethebronx.com, and there you'll find out the particip participating restaurants in Restaurant Week. There's still time, so make sure you go on out and check it out. Listen, we've come to the end of our show today, and yes, 
I want to thank our guests for joining us. But most of all, I want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in. Now, if you missed any part of today's show, make sure you catch the Recable Cast at 5 and 10 p.m. on Optimum's Channel 67. If you don't have that, you got Verizon Files. We're on 33. Or catch us anytime on the web at bronxnet.org. I'm Darren Jaime. It's been a pleasure coming to your homes. Make sure to keep this channel wide open. We say take care and God bless. Until the next time.